I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, the Apple Watch has some buzz, except when it doesn't, a robot to cut the lawn at long last, and a kid gets a ride in the car of his dreams. He deserves it. Apple is working hard to fill the huge number of initial orders for the Apple Watch, but it looks like the wait just got a little bit longer. According to the Wall Street Journal, there's been somewhat of a snafu with the supplier of the Taptic engine the device uses. The component vibrates the watch in different ways to let you know of a notification. But one supplier of the vibrate things is now in Apple's doghouse after flunking reliability testing. No watches already made are affected, but the now solo supplier of the part is going to have to kick it into overdrive to take up the slack. So be patient. Ah, spring. The flowers, the green leaves, the growing grass, the pollen triggering every known allergy symptom known to science. Some people relish that first shot at cutting the lawn. Us, not so much. That's why we're happy to show you the Lawn Bot, which is exactly what it sounds like, a robot that finally gets your lawn into shape. Made by Kyoto America, the battery-powered Lawn Bot comes in a variety of sizes to handle pretty much any stretch of green space. You'll need to run a wire around the yard so it knows where not to go, but after that, just tell it to get to work so you can start pouring cocktails. Like most seven-year-olds, this boy, Michael, loves to drive exotic cars while playing video games. His favorite? The million-dollar, 250-mile-an-hour Bugatti Veyron supercar. Recently, thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and a Texas dealership, Michael, who is battling leukemia, got some seat time in an actual Veyron Grand Vitesse Sport. After a rundown of the highlights from a Bugatti factory driver, it was time for Michael's ride in a car few people will ever find themselves in. There wasn't quite enough clear traffic to get the car up to its insane top speed, but we think Michael still got some thrills while out on the freeway. Keep fighting, Michael, and we hope someday we hear about you taking a spin in your own Bugatti. That's DT Daily for today, and we'll be back tomorrow.